whatever here. Um, we got kicked off. Mm, but it was that boat over there. It was um three back in heads. Oh yeah, and I forgot. It was that boat right there. The one that you guys saw disappear. Yeah, all about the new zone. And I got me a new upgrade. Get us a little fireworks show here, as you can see right there. Oh. You're on here with him. Thank you, sir. I mean, thank you, ma'am. on it. That was the best boat. <laughs> yes! It was this boat! One of the noobs got lost. That awesome. That awesome an entire news party. Not new part, I mean, new party. Mm -hmm. It's a game, y'all. can see um if I turn my camera on this is a full screen as you guys can see we got us um oh my gosh I got to take one of the cords out here I don't want this to go weird but oh as you guys can see, I am using my TV screen as a second display. Yeah, I'm using my TV as a second display, so that's nice. That's always good to see. But yeah, here we go. I really did forget, didn't I? I really did forget. <laughs> I'm on a little boat. <laughs> oh, here comes a shark. Oh, oh, yeah, he ate me. Poor guy. <laughs> huh. Be quiet. 
Exactly. Playing games at midnight. I know that ain't good. Just decided to get up and start playing games. Oh, that's great. Yes! I've been getting on this book for the last several rounds, and it done me good. Oh, oh here. This guy. Oh, see? Oh! Come on, boss. There we go. Shark has been released, and there was a big old glitch. Oh, this person helped us, dude. He decided to help us. That seems great. I bet that seems great. <laughs> Boy, he got. Look at all this money he's got. He might can. Um, if I get a thousand um bucks on this game, I might can get us another boat. But the gun I've got, guys, it is a big old power up. Double shark. Loves this boat. I've got one just like that. I've got one like that. But only the color is black. Not like a paint color, but. Two of 
my game. How did I? Oh my! Guys, I know we ain't played this in a in like a long time. If it load up, we are going to. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. My computer froze up. But what we gonna be doing? Yeah, it's it's gonna be freezing up. Don't mind. But I'm looking up there on my. I'm looking up there. My TV screens. What we're gonna be doing, guys, is. Uh, I'm gonna be done. Playing on Brookhaven. I know we ain't <laughs> it's so small. You guys wanna follow me on Roblox? Here's my username. Oh my I'm a lady. Brookhaven, long time. This is going to be a two hour stream. Let's hope it's, uh, let's hope it at least gets past one hour. Uh, one hour stream. Playing a bunch of games. And we might overload my computer with. Yeah. Oh, go! We're kind of an RP. Mm Sundown. down. It's it's all good. Mm -hmm. My game is lagging. Again, hack. See, we're going to take this person's car and bring our speed up to 200. So nice. Here we go. We are going to drive. We're going to see if we can do a shebang. A little shebang. Uh, oh, the 360. Raining outside as well, guys. I wish your car could at least get in it. And Brookhaven, and would this thing stop with the drifting? Um, here we go, here we go. Oh, whoa! I'm going wild. Wow. Oh, my brother radio in the background. Monday night. I meant Sunday night. 
I have a clock playing on games. My golf cart ain't right. Eat. I assume what this golf cart's problem is because I bet you I'm gonna be running all these red lights. I can't even drive this thing. Woo! Look at this. a little issue here. That's a little issue. and pencil. I'm playing on PC. What in the world? How did it disappear? Hold on. Oh, 
was raining earlier. No! Get on my car. Imagine standing right here. Imagine this is your car in real life. Just came back from hiking and you're like, oh my god, what what happened to my car? It's broken. But yeah. Let me read some oh my god. Why does it why does it look so weird in first person? Anyways. We'll see about that. <laughs> mm, don't want my car to break. Well, that's what you call one. That's what you call breaking car right here. Bruh. What if that thing... What if I, I could probably still drive this car. You know? I could probably still drive it. Um... That's what it looks like. I'm gonna make a Britannic scene. <laughs> yeah, that's a Britannic scene. I love the new sound effects. The underwater sound effects. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, the car can still drive. Oh! Mm. Yeah, my car might be broken now. Recommend playing this game, guys. If y'all break, open up that shark cam. MWS radar. Let's loading up. Showing you all what the bad weather doing. Um, also, give us a special marine one down here in Jackson. In Jackson. Oh my god. As you can see, if I can zoom out, this isn't right. 
There we go. But, um, got us a special marine warning down here. Two of them. Oh my gosh. Just now issued a whole line of special marine warnings. KHB 31 should be going off about now. So let's turn on Beaufort Station. No one weather radio live stream. Come on. Load it up. I see if you We're gonna load up Beaufort Station. SC. Lows in the upper forties. Northeast winds five to ten miles an hour. We're gonna fix our sound. Mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A twenty percent chance of showers. Highs in the lower fifties. Northeast winds ten to fifteen miles an hour with gusts. Up to 25 miles an hour. Monday night, mostly cloudy. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. There's Tuesday, w partly sunny. W Highs in the upper 60s. Snow. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday night, partly well, cloudy in the evening. The then becoming here, mostly okay. clear. Lows in the mid 40s, except around 50 near the coast. North winds around 5 miles an hour. Wednesday, sunny. Highs in the lower 70s. The extended forecast for the listening area. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 50. Thursday, sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. Thursday night, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 50s. Friday, sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Synopsis for the coastal waters of South Coastal South Carolina and North Coastal Georgia. Broad low pressure will pass over the region tonight, followed by building high pressure early this week. High pressure should remain the dominant feature across the South Carolina Low Country and Southeast Georgia during the work week. On Friday, a large low pressure system will organize over the central plains, lifting a warm front north of the region through next weekend. Here is the coastal waters forecast. From Edisto Beach to Savannah, out 20 nautical miles. For tonight, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots to 20 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots late. From tab. Three to four feet. A chance of showers. Radar. Patchy fog. Let's load that back. Visibility bad boy three up. nautical miles. Where we go? From Monday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Check that pinup Four screen. to five feet. Building to go? four to six FT in the afternoon. FT. A chance of showers, mainly what in the, the morning. World? For Monday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts to 25 knots. Seas four to six feet. A slight chance of showers in the evening. For Bring Tuesday, northeast winds cam. 10 to 50 knots with gusts oh, to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet, subsiding to 4 to 5 feet in the afternoon. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. For Wednesday, north winds 5 person. to 10 knots, becoming east in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 3 feet. For Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 Look knots, becoming west after midnight. Seas 2 to yeah, 3 feet. Yeah, you sure are Thursday, west winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. I'm off the air. Eat. Oh. Thursday night, west winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. Friday, oh, yeah. Let's northeast go back winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. And for Friday night, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Yo, you got a lot of showers Seas 4 to 5 through. feet. The offshore waters forecast from Cape Fear to 31 degrees north out to 1,000 fathoms. For tonight, 
west wind Wait, 5 to 15 knots, now. becoming north to northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet. From Monday, northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 10 feet. Scattered thunderstorms. For Monday night, east to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms with visibility 1 nautical mile or less. For Tuesday, so, north to northeast winds 15 to 25 this knots. Is Seas large. 6 to 10 feet. Scattered showers yeah, and I thunderstorms. Did. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming north to northwest. Seas 4 to 8 feet. For Wednesday, north to northwest winds less You're than 10 knots, becoming west to southwest. Seas 3 to 6 feet. For Wednesday yeah. night, west to southwest winds 10 to 20 knots, becoming west 5 to 15 knots. Seas 3 Maybe to 4 feet. Right Thursday, northwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming variable. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday night, south to southwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Friday, east to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. And for Friday night, east to northeast winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. The upcoming tides for Beaufort, South Carolina. High tide at 6.31 p.m. today. Low tide at 12.26 a.m. Monday. High tide at 7.08 a.m. Monday. Low tide at 1.04 p.m. Monday. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio Station WXJ23 in Beaufort, the voice of the National Weather Service. The station proudly serves the South Carolina Low Country and the Coastal Empire of Georgia. Additional weather information can be found online at weather.gov forward slash CHS. The local time is 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are the 7 p.m. weather reports from around the area at the Hilton Head Airport. It was cloudy. The temperature was 57 and the relative humidity 88%. The wind was northeast at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. At the Beaufort County Airport, it was cloudy. The temperature was 54 and the relative humidity 87%. The wind was north at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches rain rising. Showers across Throughout the region, Lumberton. rain was falling um, with a temperature of 52 at Charleston, 50 at Walterboro, 48 at Columbia, 46 at Myrtle Beach, and 54 at Sylvania. It was cloudy with a temperature of 50 at Augusta, 58 at Savannah, 60 at St. Rooms. Simons Island, and 60 at Brunswick. <laughs> and now, here are some regional <laughs> marine observations. At Folly Beach, the air temperature was 54. But the wind was north at seven knots, distinct to ten knots. The Fort Pulaski tide gauge reported northeast winds at nine knots, gusting to ten knots. The air temperature was fifty-eight, and the water temperature was sixty. Across the southeast the Cape area, the buoy reported northeast winds at fourteen got knots. Some showers. The air temperature was fifty-two. Um, the Keeper's nearshore wave buoy reported a wave high of three feet, with a wave period of ten seconds. Water temperature was fifty-six. The Frick nearshore buoy reported northeast winds at 12 knots. The air temperature was 56. The Edisto buoy, located 41 nautical miles southeast of Charleston, reported north winds at 16 knots gusting to 21 knots. The air temperature was 62. Water temperature was 70 degrees. The wave height was 4 feet, with a period of 11 seconds. The buoy at Gray's Reef, located 40 nautical miles southeast of Savannah, reported northeast winds at 14 knots we'll gusting to 16 Carolina knots. Carolina radar! The wave so. height was 4 feet, with a wave period of 11 seconds. Patchy fog developing across the waters. Patchy sea fog will continue to develop across the Atlantic near shore waters out to 20 nautical miles. Visibilities could be reduced to 1 to 3 nautical miles. Mariners are urged to navigate with extreme care. If you must navigate in these conditions, proceed with caution. Use proper fog signals, including fog horns. Make sure all navigational running lights are on. Please relay any reports of sea fog to the Charleston or Tybee Island Coast Guard stations and ask them to immediately forward your report to the National Weather Service in Charleston. The official National Weather Service forecast for the listening area. Tonight, cloudy with a 50% chance of showers. 
Patchy fog. Lows in the upper 40s. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Monday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A 20% chance of showers. Highs in the lower 60s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Monday night, mostly cloudy. Get in. Lows in the mid 40s, except around 50 near the coast. Yeah, it might take a little Northeast bit for it to get in. Miles an hour. But Tuesday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 60s. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Lows in the mid 40s, except around 50 near the coast. North winds around 5 miles an hour. Wednesday, sunny. Highs in the lower 70s. Synopsis for the coastal waters of South Coastal South Carolina and North Coastal Georgia. Broad low pressure will pass over the region tonight, followed by building high pressure early this week. High pressure should remain the dominant feature across the South Carolina Low Country and Southeast Georgia during the work week. On Friday, a large low pressure system will organize over the central plains, lifting a warm front north of the region through next weekend. Here is the coastal waters forecast. From Edisto Beach to Savannah, out 20 nautical miles. For tonight, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to 20 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots late. Seas 3 to 4 feet. A chance of showers. Patchy fog. Visibility 3 nautical miles. For Monday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet, building to 4 to 6 ft in the afternoon. A chance of showers, mainly in the morning. For Monday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet. A slight chance of showers in the evening. For Tuesday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet, subsiding to 4 to 5 feet in the afternoon. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 10 knots. This is Seas 3 robots. to 4 feet. For Wednesday, north winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming east in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 3 feet. For Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming west after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Thursday, west winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. Thursday night, southwest winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. Friday, northeast winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. And for Friday night, East winds 10 to 15 east, knots. East, east, Seas 4 to 5 feet. The offshore waters forecast from Cape Fear to 31 degrees north out to 1,000 fathoms. For tonight, west winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming north to northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet. For Monday, northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 10 feet. Scattered thunderstorms. For Monday night, East to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Okay, we must love me. 6 to 11 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms with visibility one nautical mile or less. For Tuesday, north to northeast winds 15 to 25 mm. knots. Sea 6 to 10 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming north to northwest. For Wednesday, north to northwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming west to southwest. Seas 3 to 6 feet. For Wednesday night, west to southwest winds 10 to 20 knots, becoming west 5 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday, northwest nope, winds nope, less nope, than nope, 10 nope, knots, yep. becoming variable. Seas 3 Black, to 4 Black, feet. Black, Black. Thursday night, south to southwest winds less than 10 knots. Becoming northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Friday, east to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. And for Friday night, east to northeast winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. The upcoming tides for Beaufort, South Carolina. High tide at 6.31 p.m. today. Low tide at 12.26 a.m. Monday. High tide at 7.08 a.m. Monday. Low tide at 1.04 p.m. Monday. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio Station WXJ23 in Beaufort, the voice of the National Weather Service. The station proudly serves the South Carolina Low Country and the coastal empire of Georgia.
Additional weather information can be found online at weather.gov forward slash CHS. The Guys. local time is 7.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm also about to end the video, so... The temperature was 57 and the relative humidity 80%. The wind was northeast at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. At the Beaufort yeah, County Airport, way, it was cloudy. Way. The temperature was 54 and the relative humidity 87%. <laughs> the wind was northeast an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. Throughout the region, rain was falling, with a temperature of 52 at Charleston, 50 at Walterboro, 48 at Columbia, 46 at Myrtle Beach, and 54 at Sylvania. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 50 at Augusta, 58 at Savannah, 60 at Saint. And 60 at Brunswick. And now, here are some regional marine observations. At Folly Beach, the air temperature was 54. The wind was north at 7 knots, gusting to 10 knots. The Fort Pulaski yeah, Tide Gauge reported northeast winds at 9 knots, gusting to 10 knots. The air temperature was 58, and the water temperature was 60. The Keepers Near Shore buoy reported northeast winds at 14 knots. The air temperature was 52. The Keeper's Near Shore Wave Buoy reported a wave high of 3 feet with a wave period of 10 seconds. Water temperature was 56. The Frick Near Shore Buoy oh. reported northeast winds at 12 knots. Oh my the God. air temperature was 56. There we the go. Buoy, located 41 nautical miles southeast of Charleston, reported north winds at 16 knots, gusting to 21 knots. The air temperature was 62. Water temperature oh was 70 my degrees. God. The wave oh, height was four feet with a period of eleven seconds. God, God, the God. buoy at Ray's Reef, located forty nautical this miles southeast right. of Savannah, reported northeast winds at fourteen oh. knots gusting to sixteen knots. Yeah, the wave height right. was four feet really with a wave period of eleven seconds. Patchy fog developing across the waters. Patchy sea fog will continue to develop across the Atlantic near shore waters out to twenty nautical miles. Visibilities could be reduced to one to three nautical miles. Mariners are urged to navigate with extreme care. If you must navigate in these conditions, Come on. use proper fog signals, yeah. including fog horns. Make sure all navigational running lights are on. Please relay any reports of sea fog to the Charleston or Tybee Island Coast Guard stations and ask them to immediately forward your report to the National Weather Service in Charleston. There we go. The official okay. National Weather Service forecast for the listening area. Tonight, cloudy with a 50% chance of showers. Patchy fog. Lows in the upper 40s. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Monday, mostly cloudy in the morning. Right and becoming partly sunny. A 20% chance of showers. Highs in the lower 60s. Walks, walks. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Monday night, mostly cloudy. Lows in the mid 40s, except around 60 near the coast. Friend. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tuesday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper and 60s. And I might build a house. Hold on. Northeast just winds let, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Everything walk off Tuesday though. night, partly cloudy yeah. in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Lows in the mid 40s, except around 50 near the coast. North winds around 5 miles an hour. Wednesday, Sunny. Highs in the lower 70s. Synopsis for the coastal waters of South Coastal South Carolina and North Coastal Georgia. Broad low pressure will pass over the region tonight, followed by building high pressure early this week. High pressure should remain the dominant feature across the South Carolina Low Country and Southeast Georgia during the work week. On Friday, a large low pressure system will organize over the central plains, lifting a warm front north of the region through next weekend. Here is the coastal waters forecast from Edexto Beach to Savannah, out 20 nautical yes, miles. I just got kicked out. Tonight, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots, to 20 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 I knots. I just got kicked again. 3 to 4 feet. A chance of showers. But what we're going to do? Fog. 
Visibility Go three ahead, nautical miles. Video. From so, Monday, northeast yeah. winds 15 to 20 knots. Seeds 4 to 5 feet, building to 4 to 6 ft in the afternoon. A chance of showers, mainly in the morning. For Monday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts to 25 knots. Seeds 4 to 6 feet. A light chance of showers in the evening. For Tuesday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to 20 knots. Seeds 4 to 6 feet, subsiding to 4 to 5 feet in the afternoon. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 10 knots. Seeds 3 to 4 feet. For Wednesday, north winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming east in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 3 feet. For Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming west after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Thursday, west winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. Thursday night, southwest winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. Friday, northeast winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. And for Friday night, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet. The offshore waters forecast from Cape Fear to 31 degrees north out to 1,000 fathoms. For tonight, west winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming north to northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seeds 4 to 7 feet. For Monday, northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seeds 6 to 10 feet. Scattered thunderstorms. For Monday night, east to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seeds 6 to 11 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms with visibility one nautical mile or less. For Tuesday, north to northeast winds 15 to 25 knots. Seeds 6 to 10 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming north to northwest. Seas 4 to 8 feet. For Wednesday, north to northwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming west to southwest. Seas 3 to 6 feet. For Wednesday night, west to southwest winds 10 to 20 knots, becoming west 5 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday, northwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming variable. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday night, south to southwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Friday, east to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. And for Friday night, east to northeast winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. The upcoming tides for Beaufort, South Carolina, high tide at 6.31 p.m. today, low tide at 12.26 a.m. Monday, high tide at 7.08 a.m. Monday, low tide at 1.04 p.m. Monday. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio Station WXJ23 in Beaufort, the voice of the National Weather Service. The station proudly serves the South Carolina Low Country and the coastal empire of Georgia. Additional weather information can be found online at weather.gov forward slash CHS. The local time is 7.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are the 7 p.m. weather reports from around the area at the Hilton Head Airport. It was cloudy. The temperature was 57 and the relative humidity 88%. The wind was northeast at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. At the Beaufort County Airport, it was cloudy. The temperature was 54 and the relative humidity 82%. The wind was north at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.10 inches and rising. Throughout the region, rain was falling with a temperature of 50 at Charleston, 50 at Walterboro, 48 at Columbia, 46 at Myrtle Beach, and 54 at Sylvania. It was cloudy with a temperature of 50 at Augusta, 56 at Savannah, 59 at St. Simons Island, and 60 at Brunswick. And now, here are some regional marine observations. At Folly Beach, the air temperature was 53. The wind was north at 9 knots gusting to 11 knots. The Fort Pulaski Tide Gauge reported northeast winds at 6 knots gusting to 11 knots. The air temperature was 57, and the water temperature was 60. The keeper's nearshore buoy reported north winds at 16 knots. The air temperature was 51. The keeper's nearshore wave buoy reported a wave height of 3 feet with a wave period of 10 seconds. Water temperature was 56. 
The near shore buoy reported north winds at 14 knots. The air temperature was 57. The buoy at Gray's Reef, located 40 nautical miles southeast of Savannah, reported northeast winds at 14 knots gusting to 16 knots. The wave height was 4 feet, with a wave period of 11 seconds. Patchy fog developing across the waters. Patchy sea fog will continue to develop across the Atlantic near shore waters out to 20 nautical miles. Visibilities could be reduced to 1 to 3 nautical miles. Mariners are urged to navigate with extreme care. If you must navigate in these conditions, proceed with caution. Use proper fog signals, including fog horns. Make sure all navigational running lights are on. Please relay any reports of sea fog to the Charleston or Tybee Island Coast Guard stations and ask them to immediately forward your report to the National Weather Service in Charleston. The official National Weather Service forecast for the listening area. Tonight, cloudy with a 50% chance of showers. Patchy fog. Lows in the upper 40s. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Monday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A 20% chance of showers. Highs in the lower 60s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Monday night, mostly cloudy. Lows in the mid-40s, except around 50 near the coast. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tuesday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 60s. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Lows in the mid-40s, except around 50 near the coast. North winds around 5 miles an hour. Wednesday, sunny. Highs in the lower 70s. The extended forecast for the listening area. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 50. Thursday, sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. Thursday night, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 50s. Friday, sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Synopsis for the coastal waters of South Coastal South Carolina and North Coastal Georgia. Broad low pressure will pass over the region tonight, followed by building high pressure early this week. High pressure should remain the dominant feature across the South Carolina Low Country and Southeast Georgia during the work week. On Friday, a large low pressure system will organize over the central plains, lifting a warm front north of the region through next weekend. Here is the coastal waters forecast. From Edisto Beach to Savannah, about 20 nautical miles. For tonight, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to 20 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots late. Seas 3 to 4 feet. A chance of showers. Patchy fog. Visibility 3 nautical miles. For Monday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet, building to 4 to 6 ft in the afternoon. A chance of showers, mainly in the morning. For Monday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet. A slight chance of showers in the evening. For Tuesday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet, subsiding to 4 to 5 feet in the afternoon. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. For Wednesday, north winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming east in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 3 feet. For Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming west after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Thursday, west winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. Thursday night, southwest winds 5 knots. Seas 2 feet. Friday, northeast winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. And for Friday night, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet. For the Edisto River near Gibbons Ferry, the latest stage is 5.5 feet at 6 p.m. Sunday. For the Savannah River at Burton's Ferry, the latest stage is 8.0 feet at 7 p.m. Sunday. 
Central to Savannah River near Conroe. The latest stage is 7.6 feet at 7 p.m. Sunday. River flooding is not expected unless otherwise noted. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards for the latest updates. The offshore waters forecast from Cape Fear to 31 degrees north out to 1,000 fathoms. For tonight, west winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming north to northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet. For Monday, northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 10 feet. Scattered thunderstorms. For Monday night, east to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms with visibility one nautical mile or less. For Tuesday, north to northeast winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 10 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. For Tuesday night, north winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming north to northwest. Seas 4 to 8 feet. For Wednesday, north to northwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming west to southwest. Seas 3 to 6 feet. For Wednesday night, west to southwest winds 10 to 20 knots, becoming west 5 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday, northwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming variable. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday night, south to southwest winds less than 10 knots, becoming northeast 15 to 25 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Friday, east to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. And for Friday night, east to northeast winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 11 feet. The upcoming tides for Buford, South Carolina, low tide at 12.26 a.m. Monday, high tide at 7.08 a.m. Monday, low tide at 1.04 p.m. Monday, high tide at 7.28 p.m. Monday. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio Station WXJ23 in Buford, the voice of the National Weather Service. The station proudly serves the South Carolina Low Country and the coastal empire of Georgia. Additional weather information can be found online at weather.gov forward slash CHS. The local time is 7.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are the 7 p.m. weather reports from around the area. At the Hilton Head Airport, it was cloudy. The temperature was 57 and the relative humidity 88%. The wind was northeast at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.09 inches and rising. At the Buford County Airport, it was cloudy. The temperature was 54 and the relative humidity 82%. The wind was north at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.10 inches and rising. Throughout the region, rain was falling with a temperature of 50 at Charleston, 50 at Walterboro, 48 at Columbia, 46 at Myrtle Beach, and 54 at Sylvania. It was cloudy with a temperature of 50 at Augusta, 56 at Savannah, 59 at St. Simon's Island, and 60 at Brunswick. And now, here are some regional marine observations. At Folly Beach, the air temperature was 53. The wind was north at 9 knots, gusting to 11 knots. The Fort Pulaski Tide Gauge reported northeast winds at 6 knots, gusting to 11 knots. The air temperature was 57, and the water temperature was 60. 